The MiG-29 first appeared publicly outside the Soviet Union at the Farnborough England Air Show in 1988. The sharply honed skills and instincts of test pilots make them especially adept in demonstrating new aircraft. And Anatoly Kovachur, a test pilot for the Soviet Mikoyan Design Bureau, was doing the flying. His remarkable tail slide, demanding for the pilot and engines of a high-performance jet and flown at low altitude, earned him attention and respect. Vertical maneuver uh, is not uh, very difficult uh, for our pilots uh, on uh, our um, uh, aircraft. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we hope uh, what all pilots uh, will to do that maneuver. At the Paris show a year later, Kovacur flew again. On opening day of the show, in the middle of the afternoon, Kovacur initiated his flight routine. But after a turn out of the square loop in the midst of slow flight at 500 feet, something suddenly and dramatically went wrong with the right engine. It quit cold, as evidenced by the 20-foot lick of flame. What happened next was a classic twin-engine accident sequence. The power from the operating left engine pushed the airplane to the right. At so slow a speed, the pilot could not counteract the turn, and the airplane nosed toward the ground. Had there been more altitude, it would have entered a right-hand spin or spiral. At this point, you can see that the left engine is operating, its upper intake vent wide open and sucking in air, its rear nozzle tight and delivering thrust normally. The dead right engine needs no air. Its upper vents are closed, and the rear nozzle is splayed open. Kovacur said later his first instinct was to save the aircraft. When that became impossible, he directed the airplane toward the grassy area to prevent injury to people on the ground. When that was guaranteed, he saved himself and yanked the ejection seat handle. He punched out none too soon. A bit over two seconds before the airplane hit, his parachute fully opened when he was only a few feet above ground. Again, as the airplane hit, you can see the left engine carrying power to impact explodes a last gasp of fiery thrust as the airplane crumples into the grass. The cause of the accident? Damage to the right engine earlier in the flight when birds were sucked into the engine. Now at Dayton, the airplane was back in the air with MiG chief test pilot Valerie Manitsky at the controls. And the flying was better than ever. 200 knots as it goes through this maneuver. The power does come back for the Cobra maneuver. There it is, 90 degrees to about 105 degrees. The nose goes forward, you 